To do a uh, short row when you're starting on a purl side, let's say I need to um, purl until I get to the last five stitches. So one, two, three, four, five. And then if the instruction was to wrap and turn and then knit back, what I would do instead is I would uh, knit to the last five stitches just as I was instructed. So I've got two, three here. I believe that leaves me five stitches. So rather than doing a wrap and turn, which would be to bring the yarn forward, to slip this stitch, to slip that one back, then turn the work so that this stitch was wrapped. Rather than wrapping that stitch, all I do is turn the work like this. And then I have to um, bring the yarn to the front of the work. So the, the yarn has to be in front. I'm going to slip this stitch and at the same time I'm going to let the yarn come over the top and I'm going to pull on it so that it, it pulls this stitch below so that it pulls it up and over the needle like this. Just, okay, so you're, you're bringing this over so that this kind of pulls up on that. And then you would just um, Knit your, knit your stitches back all the way to the end of the row again. So you just, oh, I'm messing up here. So you just knit across all the way. And you'll see that this has this kind of pulled stitch looking here. On the next purl row, let's say we have to knit 10 stitches from the end. Well, we've got these five here. We've got this one that looks kind of funny. So that's number six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So um, we just need to work two more stitches. And then again, we turn the work. So that the yarn is in front. I slip the stitch and I, pull, and I just kind of pull it over like that. And then I continue knitting on. I'm kind of holding it in place. We don't want it to loosen up too much and we don't want it to be super tight, but we want it to be um, firmly over of the needle when we start knitting back in the other direction. If you knit with the yarn in your right hand, then when you turn the work and you have the yarn in front like this and you slip and then you, go to, you can go to the next stitch, you want to, again, pull this firmly over so that you can see the two strands of the stitch below get pulled over. And then you can knit your next stitch, like that. So at this point, I've done my turns uh, three times. I've done it this first time right here, one. I've done it again here, and I've done it again here. So now it's gonna be time to knit all the way across. Now when you do a wrap and turn, this would be the point where they would tell you to pick up your wraps and knit them together. But since we didn't do any wraps, we don't have to do that. But we, what we do have to do is make sure that these stitches are knitted correctly when we get to them. And then you can see I'm starting to approach one of those funny stitches. So when I get to there, this one's normal. So then I've got one of these kind of doubled stitches. I'm going to put my needle through to make sure I'm through both of those. Um, in this case I've got two green strands and two orange strands because I've got the variegated yarn. So I want to put it through both of the strands that are kind of hanging over the front there. And I'm going to work them like a, it's a purl two together. So I'm going to work them together as a purl. And then I continue on to the next one. Where again I'll see the double strands so I want to enter it like it's a double strand, like it's a purl two together, like it's two stitches. And then I continue to the next one. And once again, I work those two together as a, as a purl two together. Let's see if I get in there correctly. There we go. And then I just finish the row.
and at this point then you can see they've all been worked together and you will probably be hard-pressed to see well this one you can kind of see a little bit if I stretch it a little bit it's easier we know that that one was if you need to adjust by pulling or whatever you can do that but it's pretty clean um, process.